Kevin Crew first. All right, we know what the stack levels are. Stack levels are where we look for three profiles that overlap each other. In other words, it can be two or three stacked areas. I got three profiles that you can put over top of our black chart here, our black profile chart. So the first profile, let me go over real quick, make it simple for you to understand, is the thick uh, blue, red, and green lines. So if I look down here, this is a buy signal this morning, after news. The thick green line is called low value area. That's volume profile. That takes all the volume coming in the market from all the algorithms, hedge fund, prop firms, professional amateur traders, and it gives me an area to buy. The small thin line is on my white chart, but you can overlap it, put it right over top here on all the profiles together. It's called my developing profile. That was sitting right there also. And then you got the green dots, which are price profile. That's been around since 1985. So those are my three profiles. The dots are price, the solid thick lines are volume, and this is developing as price ticks. What you want to do, the trend filter was in an uptrend. We are in an uptrend. This is an uptrend. This is my Rinko bar. The Rinko bar works really nice with market delta right beside me. Let me show you how a technique that a lot of my traders inside and outside this room use. Really cool technique how to use this. We know we came down to support. This is a stack level. We got volume, price, developing, all stacked in an uptrend. Trend filters up, all stacked on top of each other. So we come down to it and we have a green bar reversal right there on the Rinko bar. This is off my five sim Rinko, a little bit longer term. Consequently, at the same time, we have a huge order imbalance right here on Market Delta right here. Huge order imbalance of 663. Anything over 200 on crude oil is a major buy imbalance between the bid and the ask. Major buy imbalance right there. A lot of demand at the key support level. So look how they both marry up. I get a reversal bar that closes green on a spinning top. I got a spinning top reversal bar on the 5 sim, which is a reversal candle. And then I've got a spinning top, which is a green candle over here also. They both line up for an entry. Your entry will be the close of the market delta bar, so the open of the next bar, your stop loss is two ticks below the swing low, right here. That's your stop, two ticks below the swing. And look how the momentum bar, I mean the Rinko bar kept you in the trade to the upside. Right there, right? Now, I said the next viable setup on crude would have to be a break retest of HVA, high value area. What did I mean by that? We're not going to sell high value because the market's in an uptrend. Right here, the trend filler's up. We don't sell high value in an uptrend. We want to buy the break retest. So what the market did, it was right here when I was talking about it. It's trying to break out. When I talk about a break retest, it broke out. It retested my breakout level. Now I'm at a triple wall of, of support. It's dual at the time. And look for an ABC long. Look how I had a green bar reversal. Now look over here on Market Delta. There's your break retest. It broke. You have negative Market Delta. There's your positive Market Delta. Pop in the trade. Your stop loss is two ticks below the swing low. And there's your two buy setups this morning. Right now, after news, we're two for two on crude in an uptrend. The methodology states this. If you go to daytradingthefutures.com, if you read my PDF, I state if we're in an uptrend, you want to buy LVA on a pullback, low value area. You want to buy the control point break retest. You got three shots in an uptrend. Remember, you buy low value area green in an uptrend. You let it break out retest the blue line, the control point. 
This is the most volume that's been traded since midnight. Very key support on a break retest of trend. The last way to do it is a break retest high value area. Look at my high value area price profile, high value area, developing, broke, retested. So look at this big inflection point. There's one big inflection point. You only got three ways to buy in an uptrend. You buy low value area, it was stacked. You break retest HVA or break retest the control point, stack. Now, look how it marries up with market delta. My market delta turned right here. Market delta turned exactly at my low value area. My market delta turned exactly when the Renko bar turned here. Gerald, go to gold before I shut this off. Look at gold real quick. Gold, here's gold. Look how it was a break retest of the control point. Look how my Rinko bar closed. That's a that's a green spinning top. Look over here, my market delta. Look how it closed green right there. Look how it closed green also. They married up on support. And there you go for another trade. All right, Gerald, go check that off. That's how we trade when they both 